go to some family function and he's like, hey idiot, you Russell Peter now? Okay, then f you bitch, shut up. Dude, that's how this guy comes up to me. I'm like, what? Why do you care? What is your problem? Can I be white? You know why people just get to do a fringe play until they're 60? They don't care, dude. Hi. spent the whole day writing the incredible Win At Life Mega Expo that you guys can watch at the Ottawa Montreal Fringe Festival, June 2019. Incredible show. Also, come watch my show in Brampton as well. This is going to be a banger lineup, killer lineup. Good times over there. Uh, Mississauga show uh, coming in late August. This is going to be a banger show too. And then I want to start like a weekly or a monthly Brampton Brown show. Come on. The community, whole community is here. Whole community is here. But first, what we're going to get into right now, what we're going to talk about right now is the process of writing this play, this Win At Life Mega Expo. It's jacking me up, people. I'm getting jacked up. It's a great play. It's a great play. We just spent the whole two days writing, like just going through line by line. It's so much work. Are you kidding me? And here's the thing. I'm do the play is about these sociopaths, these motivational speakers, these like high, high efficiency, high functioning, get your work done, motivational channels, the guys advertising shit on you, the Ty Lopez types. And of course, Tony Robbins, big daddy of them all. How can I not mention the giant? How can I not mention the giant within all of our hearts? Tony Robbins. He, he changed the game, dude. He changed the game. His documentary was all right. It was good. All right. No, it was a great documentary. Man, those guys are so high functioning that if, if you say, hey, that documentary is all right, they'd be like, what? What? You said it was all right? Yeah, dude. I mean, he just started making this. He made this woman break up with her husband on the phone during the seminar. Interesting. Interesting. I can't, I'm, okay, cool. No, that's fine. I was watching it, I was like, uh. And the thing is, I'm into self-help shit and I try to get other people into it. Like I'm trying to be like, no, no, no. These motivational people, they're not crazy. Trust me, man, it's good. Let's watch the, let's watch the Tony Robbins documentary. Watch, you'll see. Tony Robbins, nice guy, great guy. He just made this woman break up with her husband on the phone during the seminar. These people are hard as fuck. This is what I mean by I'm jacked up, people. I'm jacked up. If I was doing a play, this fringe play, it's making me study all these sociopaths and I'm going crazy. I'm getting into it is what I'm saying. I've always been kind of into it, but it's basically like I'm studying these sociopaths and they're all, I'm getting a lecture every day. What are you doing? What are you doing with your life? Is that going to be enough? You have enough for retirement? What do you get? Where's the next job coming? What are you going to do this? When are you gonna, how are you going to make money? How are you going to, dude, it's just nonstop. And I'm brown, so I already have it from the parents. It's a lot, but you know what? I'm working. I'm working so hard. I'm so excited about this play. The play is going to be incredible. I'm putting out video. Last year, we changed the game with our videos. No other French play did that many videos. Come on, we did like 30 videos. We were getting mad at ourselves for not having a video every day. Like a Sunday went by once and Morgan's like, well, how come there's no video? We look like idiots right now, dude. I'm telling you, we're getting jacked up on this play. We're winning at life, baby. Montreal, we're coming. It better be sold out. We're working so hard. Who's bringing the heat like this? Who's bringing the heat like this? I got to do one of these every day. Not every day, but I have been. I put up a video every day for like a week and a half. Something like that. Are they getting any hits? Not really, but you got to trust the process and say God is great. That's it, right? You got to trust the process. You got to put up the video and you got to say God is great and God make it. I'm getting pretty jacked up because I'm just watching these motivational sociopaths all day and it's making me go crazy a little bit. And now I think I'm getting kind of, I'm getting into it is what I, what I turned on the video to say. I know I'm rambling, I drink a lot of coffee, but I don't even think it's the coffee doing this. I think I just watched too many motivational speakers. And now we're bringing the heat on the play. Like we're, we're bringing that work ethic on the play. Do you understand what I'm saying? We're working that hard. Who has videos like us? And we just spent two days writing it. It's a banger, dude. Just tight lines all the way through. And we're playing these motivational kind of crazy, like it's, it's great. It's really good. And I've been just doing, I've been learning all these life tips. So I just did a life tip video. I just did two videos about these motivational sociopaths, inspirational sociopaths. I did two of those. And then I did a mega life tip video that I just finished editing today. That'll go up before I even put this video up. So those three videos will already be up. But you know what? Those don't even count as win at life videos. Are you kidding me? My, my playmates are like, yeah, yeah, no, that's just you promoting you. Get out of here. 
we still got to do the win at life promo come on and then i'm so jacked up from these motivational speakers that i'm like well, let's do it then let's do it let's take it let's do it let's take it these motivational speakers are just i'm getting lectured all day i have an indian uncle that's been doing this to me for a, like a year or two now a year or two i go to some family function and he's like hey idiot you russell peter now okay then fuck you bitch shut up dude that's how this guy comes up to me. I'm like, what? Why do you care? What is your problem? Can I be white? You know why people just get to do a fringe play until they're 60? They don't care, dude. Nobody's getting in their face like, when are you going to make money? What are you doing? Shut the fuck. Dude, this guy's coming at me. I almost, I almost told my parents on him. But I didn't want to tell my parents because I'm a grown man. And he, but he's like their age. And he's like, hey, idiot, you making money now? For you stupid, shut up, bitch, fuck you, dude. <laughs> he sounds like that too. He's aggressive, conservative. Conservative, when are you gonna have kids? How much money are you making? What are you making doing this? Let's see, well, well yeah, yeah? How are you gonna, how, you got retirement? What are you doing? What the fuck are you doing with your life, dude? Like this, how rude. Could someone, dude, imagine you're white and someone said this to you. You'd punch, you'd not punch, you'd be like, this, they would be the jerk. Dude, you go to these Indian events and other people might join in and be like, yeah, Mish, what are you doing? Let's bring the heat, baby. Dude, I'm telling you, I, mean, I was on TV. I was just on a kid's TV show, playing a dad. Applied for an Emmy nomination, didn't get the nomination. What do you want, man? I'm doing what I love. I'm telling these jokes. I'm making these, getting better at these videos. I did one video with this guy. He's got good bits. His, so he has this video. It's got like 50,000, 100,000 hits, his videos. So he's got this video. Watch how quickly he goes from zero to 100 on this video. Watch this. Most people spend all their time in the morning just catching up and talking to people. Then it comes to the afternoon and they've calmed their email, email inbox down. They've responded to these different messages. They've caught up to date with the news, which is totally useless. And then they're like, oh, finally got everything done. Now, time to make some time to put some work in on this important project. And then they're like, yeah, nah, not much left in me. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. Then tomorrow becomes today, pattern repeats. And then what ends up happening, person dies, never achieves anything. So you don't, you, if you don't uh, build good habits and you don't get your work done, you miss it today, tomorrow repeat, then you're dead. <laughs> can you imagine? How can you go from zero to dead that quick? How quick can you go? Zero, this guy goes from zero to did, then you did, then you did. Wow, dude. Do you think he does it for everything? Like you just got a parking ticket? He's like, oh, you got a parking ticket, mate. Well, you get, today you get a parking ticket. <laughs> today you get, a you get a parking ticket. Tomorrow, another, maybe speeding, then you did. <laughs> he's good though, he's got, he's got good banger videos. Don't do that crap in the morning unless you want to be poor and fail. He's got good, he's basically like Ty Lopez. And then this guy though, oh man. Just stand around and watch all the opportunities go by. They sit there, they sit there, they, oh, I'm getting ready. Bert's getting ready. Bert's getting ready. Rick's getting ready. Oh, maybe, maybe the next one. Maybe the next one. Maybe the next one. Oh, fuck no, no, I'm tired now. Maybe the next one, maybe the next one. And here comes. And there comes somebody like me, just jumps on the fucker and eats it. You guys see Dan Pina? Oh my God, this guy's a sociopath, dude. This is his class. <laughs> you can go to a class. But yet, most of the people on that wall are not alpha males like me. They're little weenies like Chris. So that this guy could say, hey, you're a loser like this one. <laughs> Dan Pina. Anyway, this is just a little fringe vlog. I just want to tell you guys about the behind the scenes, working on the play, how it's making me go a little crazy. You know, if I was doing a play about like sad people or communists or something, I wouldn't even be jacked up. I'd be like, well, that's okay. Everyone, everyone will get a chance and we'll all be okay and that's fine. But then you watch these motivational, these hard business, these right wing, these capitalists, and they're like, let's go, baby. You gotta take the game. You gotta bring the heat. You got one life, what are you gonna do?